Food Science Investigation The Mystery of the Slabby Pizza So, you remember that you had your favourite pizza It was just out from the oven, nice and warm You took a bite and it was perfect The cheese, the pepperoni, but most importantly the pizza bread With a bit through, you could feel a layer of crunchiness before you penetrated deeper in the chewy, soft, porous bread. Having some left, you decided to keep some for the next day. You put it in a tight plastic bag so it wouldn't get dry, just like what mom said. You hardly went to sleep. You couldn't wait to have another perfect pizza day. The next day, you heated it with microwave to make sure you get the same experience of warm pizza. But when you held it in your hand, you noticed something different. It felt flabbier. And when you took a bite, you realized that you were right. It was a flabby pizza. And you're not a flabby pizza person. Why? You wondered. Here is the food science investigation. When the pizza is just out from the oven, it still has crust on the surface of the bread, a layer where there is not much water making it drier and harder. Over time, the water from the inside will try to balance the difference. Thus, some will travel to the surface when the crust is gone as it becomes moister and more flexible. The tight container helps to prevent the water from leaving the pizza, otherwise it will become dry and rubbery. With the microwave the pizza, magnetic wave produced by the microwave makes the water molecule and the pizza jiggle at the same time. It's just like how music makes the people in the room move. The movement then can produce heat by the friction, but also stretches the bread network here and there, making it more flexible. Thus, you have a hot, flabby pizza. If you heat it further, it will become dry as more water escapes, and any further it can be burnt. With conventional oven, the food is heated differently. The heat source is usually a hot coil. As the heat travels and fills up the chamber, it starts to penetrate the food from its surface, then to the inside. This creates a difference, as the outer layer gets hot faster. Eventually, the water molecules in the outer layer jiggle faster and can leave the food as a vapor. This leaves the bread with a layer of crust, where almost no water molecule is left. The inside part is also heated, but in a lower rate than the outside. The bread network stretched and becomes chewy. So, when you take a bite, you can feel those layers you like. The slight crunchiness on the surface of the piece of bread, then the chewiness as you penetrate deeper. However, don't go too much, or otherwise more water will escape and the pizza will get burnt. There you go! Now, don't worry to keep some pizza if you can't finish them all. Remember to sort it tightly and eat it how you like it. Flabby, crusty, but not burn I guess. <laughs>